Yo, what's up everyone, Cause we're back here and welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're going to be playing some Streets of Rage 4, and I have decided to start a new series, and um, this series is going to be called Beat em Up Time, and um, I love Beat em Up games, so that is why I've decided to start this series, and um, this series is basically just going to be me playing a bunch of Beat em Up games, I have three series planned right now, and um, I thought about it today and I was like, hey, um, me and my friends are playing a bunch of games right now, and I was like, what if I make a series out of all these games? And then the main series is definitely going to be a talk show with me and my friend um, Lee, along with Prudent and other friends. And that's just going to be us playing games and having a good time. It'll just be random games, it's not going to be like the beat em up time series where we're playing like games like Streets of Rage 4 or um, Ninja Turtles and other games like that. Because that's going to be strictly on beat em ups because I love beat em up games and they're some of my favourite games in the world. It was a dying genre for a while but they're back now. And I'm very glad they're back, and um, they've been back for a while, obviously, since Streets of Rage 4 came out, and that's why we're playing Streets of Rage 4 today, because we're going to honour one of the games that brought back beat em up games, alright? And, um, I'm making this video very late now, so I'm talking more quiet than usual, but I feel like this is, um, actually a nice voice anyway, because it's pre pretty calm for what we're doing, because we're doing a series, and I thought it'd be cool to do this. Um, I have no plan for this series, really, this is just a genuine series of me just playing around the beat em up games and just having a good time playing them. And, um, Suppose we'll just start with a lovely story mode. Do I have survival? Wait, how have I got survival in this? Have I got DLC characters in this somehow? Uh, wait, what? I do? Oh, okay. Okay, if you're wondering why I was panicking about not having DLC characters, it was because um, I'm playing on my friend's account right now because I've been banned. And anybody who's been watching my channel for a while knows I've been banned. Um, I was going to make a video about the ban, but I kind of just said fuck it at this point because I didn't really want to make a video on the ban because it would have just sounded, it would have just made it look as if I was like being upset and like trying to like get people to watch my videos because all oh, dude sympathise, but nah, I, I, I decided to just say no to making that video. But I guess I suppose that's enough yapping for me. Let's actually play some Street to Rage Four, right? I, I love Street to Rage Four. Right? It's, it's actually a really good game. And it's one of the best Streets of Rage games. It's definitely better than Streets of Rage 3. De definitely. I've probably annoyed some people who like Streets of Rage 3, but I never liked Streets of Rage 3. I wasn't a big fan of it, and um, I just I just couldn't get down to it. I wasn't. I don't know why I didn't like Streets of Rage 3. Right? But um, I'm not a big fan of it. But Streets of Rage 4, however, is just a great game. I love the fact you can actually place every Streets of Rage character in the game. That is definitely one good thing about it. And um, let's get down to the story. Eh? Ten years have passed since the fall of Mr. X and his syndicate. The syndicate's been at peace until now. New crime apparatus has arisen. Corrupted and everything good in the city is rumored to be led by Mr. X's own children and You I mean that man actually got busy? One of the detectives I've just known. Okay, I can't even read all this. It's basically just talking about how they all got together and that and started kicking ass again. I'll say one thing though, and um, Doctor Zan is a character in Streets of Rage 3, and I'm this game's perfect, but there was two things that pissed me off about it. First of all, where the fuck Skate? And second of all, why the fuck did they not put Dr. Zan in the game? Those are the only two things that pissed me off about Streets of Rage 1. In fact, no, there was a third thing. There's a level in the game where you bump into a model of Root, a Streets of Rage 1 model of Root, and I was like, why the fuck's he not in the game? I have a model for him. Oh, fuck it. Right, so obviously I've, I've played this game before, before, so I, I, I'm not going into this game like, I don't know how to play this game. And even though I'm better, I know how to play beat em ups, alright? So I'm gonna be kicking ass for the first few levels, alright? Right, on my main account, I played this game for so many hours, like, it's honestly a joke how long I've played this game for, it's like, probably 100 to 200 hours now, because I love this game series, alright? Oh. And I like playing Stale because she's a very defensive character and great with crowd control. And just go, oh, oh, oh. I'm spamming her side move right now because it's a. It gets the job done, but watch this. Did you throw a grenade? Okay. Oh, a Stale is just. And then we can also do this, get a couple of free hits and get her health back just like that. I'll throw a side. So, um, today I went to this lovely little garden center, right? Because um, I had to go get my bus pass, right? And as I went to get my bus pass, um, I found out the reason why it was not ordered yet was because they don't do it on Saturday and Sunday, so I still have to wait like a few more days for that, right? 
But um, afterwards, I was like, hey, I've got nothing better to do because I don't go to school anymore. Right? And I was going to wait for my call, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to take a little walk. I walk for the Glen and um, up to Huntington and look for the garden centre because I'm going to be doing a garden call too. And the garden call is going to be fantastic. I've already done a bit of gardening in certain places and that. I've got other places I haven't done for them now because I need to get my bus pass to go there, which is really annoying. Because I actually want to go to that place on Sunday. It's like a lovely little garden place that I have. And we do like lots of work there. It's amazing. It's, like, it's amazing when you go to like, these gardens and you see all the people working on them and that. Like, you see what they turn into when they're finished. And even when they're not finished or when they're still being worked on, it's just fabulous to go part of that kind of stuff. And the Ninja Turtles DLC came out a while back as well, and I played that DLC. Oh my god, it's been awesome. If you want to see me play that DLC, I made some videos on that DLC already. I even made a video about playing the characters with the one my beating up games experience. If I was to talk about the beating up games I've played, I have played every Street of Rage game, obviously. Because I love the series, and um, I have played, so I don't know, like, because I've played lots of them, so I struggle to remember some of them. I've played Castle Crashers, if that counts as a beat up. Golden Axe as well, but that's kind of... I don't know. I, I like the... They are obviously beat up, but... I kind of want to give them their like, own charm, because it's like... You're not really punching enemies in those games, you're using weapons and that, so it's like... Oh, can I count that as a beat up game? But it's the same mechanic, really, but just with weapons, and it's not as fast paced as you can. In these types of games, oh, you just run up over there. I'm not going to use this armor because I'm not going to go into points. Oops, lost a combo. As fast as going back, I'm going to get rid of my combo. But, um, what I'm talking I'm still trying to remember the beat-em-up games I played. I don't remember anymore. I don't know. Uh, actually, I played a few modded versions of Street of Rage as well, which was a little bit modded. Ah, uh, yeah, I played this called Pilgrim game. I wasn't a big fan of that. I think it was just because uh, I just didn't like the controls as much in the whole. Because I don't like the fact you had to like level up and stuff to learn new moves and that as well. I thought that was kind of stupid because in the beat em up game, it's like most beat em up games will usually just get to use all your moves straight away and I was like, okay, this is kind of a stupid mechanic, so I, I respected it as well because I thought it was cool. Right? I do not hate the game, it's just that um, it wasn't my kind of beat em up, right? I like the move faster ones. I also, another thing I like about the Scott Pilgrim game was kind of like, ah, yes, now I remember, I played the River City game on the NES. That game was fantastic to play. Um, I would definitely do gameplay of that game if I had a capture card on my Nintendo Switch. Um, I never beat that game, however, because I was terrible at it, because it was an NES game. I'm just terrible at those games, but I, I had the basic mechanic of it. You had to like, buy stuff at the shop, but I up the characters and start by eating and that. It was a fun game. I just never got down to finishing that one because there's also the River City Girls game which looks pretty fascinating and I kind of want to try that game out because it looks cool. At first I was like, I don't want to buy that game because it's got that name in it and it's like, yeah, 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 I've never really tried this out because it's kind of like Streets of Rage. Alright, we're gonna throw one of the grenades here because I want to give these guys the. Just put these guys right in the face of that. Watch out! Alright, let's go get some of the food here. Um, I'll spend... the, the most fun thing about a game up, I would say, definitely. Uh... One thing for me to play the game so much is, and the reason I started the series in the first place was because, well, the first thing is I kind of started the series because um, I was getting too excited and I, I was just waiting for my friend to get on tomorrow so that we could start the, um, the, the game and talk show that we were going to do where we play games and talk. I was like, damn it, I was just waiting for tomorrow, so I was like, okay, I'll, I, I suppose I'll give myself my own mini series. And I was like, all right, this is going to be the cozy little type of series where it's just me. It's going to be me playing retro games because I fucking love them. Well actually this isn't retro. I think for the next, uh, for the next beat em up, um, the next beat em up time video, right? We're definitely going to be playing, um, Street Castle Crashers or, um, Street Rage 1 and 2. Street 
grade one, I'm gonna have that. I'm actually really bad at so that. Keep the grade one, I used to always get carried, but because I played out one with my dad, I was really able to do that game all the time. I was bad at keeping the grade one. I think it was just more easy to play it on multiplayer because of, there was more people to help you focus on the enemies. But I saw some strategy guys from that game. It's like, oh, so that's how you get that game. There's a boss in Streets of Rage 1 where the strategy for beating him is just to actually get to the corner and just call, combo him in the corner because the boys apparently he can't escape. Yeah, he won't escape, so because I want to get that bonus point, I'm gonna. Right. Yeah, we're gonna just beat the crap out of her now because we're at full health and I want to get double points. Bam. But, uh. I should go this one a bit. But uh, Street Series 1, I, I kind of want to try and beat that myself. I'll get to that one day. But I was thinking, maybe I'll just make a little mini video on that as well. But the thing with Street Series 1 was, I wasn't very used to the combat and that sort of thing. I feel like, I don't usually send it a laptop or like a PC or something would be easier for that, but maybe it would actually possibly because of the keys. I use a D-pad for every BMO game I play, and I have to use a D-pad for most games I play now anyway, because I've got a severe control drift, and it's really shit right now. I can't replace my controller, because then you wait until I get the college to do that. Oh, and the character in the middle of this, Adam. He's fun to use now. I think we're gonna play Floyd, actually, for this. Uh, yeah, let's play some Floyd. If he's got the move, if he's got the move that is, I need him to have magnetic grab, otherwise I'm not using Floyd for this. Floyd, you better have magnetic grab, otherwise this is going to be danger. I don't use Floyd that much, but I like him. Because he's a... big guy. Nice one. Okay, he does have that. I, okay, I need a crap on that thing. Anyway, otherwise I'm dead. I think the tetanus gives me, yeah, the tetanus gives me health, so that's a good thing. Alright, so you can grab this guy, and then you can, oof. Hey, there we go. Got some beefy goos right here. So you boys need to cuddle this. Ugh. Yeah, now I'm good time with a great little game, just when you learn, you learn all these satisfying missions, just like, oh, I'll take that bitch. 41 hit combo already, so I was watching that combo with a great one. Ooh. I love watching myself a combo here, go up and Whoop! He thought, he thought he was going to get to do that then. Because Floyd's got that move, I can just... He just instantly gets all the stuff back from doing that as well, which is another good thing about that. I'm gonna get some power control here, before we start getting our asses kicked in here. Get our health back fully like that. Grab this cheap, grab this cheap little man. You know, let's get towards his wee pals here. Yeah? Uh, bang. Let's take it over and take that away. I'm like, can my Floyd pick up? Please tell me he can pick shit up. Hey, hey, he can pick stuff up. So there's characters in the game that can't pick things up, which is pretty shit for this, because then, um, for the characters that can't pick up items, I wish they would have made it so they could have done this, but you need to get a taser and hit this to get to a secret boss. And for the surf, we the boss of the big man Jack. This guy was kind of annoying if you play Street Rage 2 and you're not expecting to play him. He's, he's, he's up kind of annoying first time anyway, but he's fair. See? Ooh, he got a break on it. Oh, nope. Can't get down, motherfucker. Uh, I believe that... Oh, did we not get awarded the star? Oh, there's the star there. You usually get a the star and when you beat them you get your health all back. Even if you fail, you don't lose a life and fight them. Oh, I love the detail. See the detail that's put in these beat-em-up games from the art style now. If you look at the uh, Street of Rage, if you go into Street of Rage 4 and you look at the extras, they will show you the artwork for the game, right? And they'll show you the amount of effort they, put, they went into to make this, uh, these levels. We're gonna use that. Bouncing on like a trampoline. That's actually a very effective move, in fact. Hmm. Alright, now I have to go up to this guy. For the beat em up time series, I think I'll also make like some strategy videos on how to fight certain enemies. But for that guy, when you see his hand lift up, you need to immediately hit him. There's also a policeman in um, Street Series 1. Oh, there we go, we've got an X5, which is also very good for going for S ranks and high scores and shit. If I get a high score, maybe I will actually S points. Damn, we are combo and shit right now. 
We don't want them doing that, but I believe we can take out the shield before we even get to on a single hit that sounds good. See, the thing with Void is, ooh, you gotta be fast with them. You wanna get fast combos, you gotta... Ow. Yeah. Just in the combo room. Ah, he does. Really feel it. Right. Not a mood to deal with you, little cat man. Oh. I love using four in this game. Alright, hold up. Who's next? Uh. Right, there's gonna be some game. I'll go find out the Unox as if you remember where all the enemies are gonna pop up and sneak you down for those cheeky little corners. Oh, I didn't jump in time. Jump. Ah, oh, okay, I think I have to be right in front of him for it. Ah, oh, maybe this doesn't work in front. Come in. Get over here. I'm all there. How are you doing, you little? How are you doing, Tom? Ah, take that bitch. Wait, can I just keep the range from him? Oh, I can just keep the range by doing that, alright? Take that bitch. Ooh, lovely. Lovely little hit with Floyd right there. And then this bat, this bat's gone. So essentially, it's like five of these cop guys put together. I mean, four. Oh dear. So grabbing, grabbing these guys and throwing them towards the other guy's shield just severely weak. See that guy's shield right there? It's just severely weakened right there. Oh, come here. Dude. Take that bitch. And uh, kill these guys so we can get the bonus towards. I love that because like, so most people would probably just push the out of that and just have to go and get the fuck out of there. Uh, we get rewarded for get rewarded for kicking ass in this game. Now, if I remember how to take this guy out, you get a couple of cheeky hits on him. Right? Yep. Yeah, so. Funny about this guy is the only problem really is his lackeys on it, right? This guy is not a threat too much, right? His lackeys are absolutely very threat, because they grab you and shit, right? And he just sneaks up on you like that, right? So he's gonna, he's gonna try and grab us, see when he flashes like that, and he's just going for a cheeky little uppercut or like a grab, right? So he's going for his little chase move there, right? He can take advantage of that and get a few more hits on him. Like that. Throw this guy away. Alright, now he's into the second phase, which is when he starts getting a bit more hard, right? Ooh. Alright, this is when I struggle because I'm playing a slow character right now and I should have probably picked a character that was better with the list because it's been a while since I've played Street Star. You know what, what's the game about a little bit? Now he's hitable, right? He's going for his little dash ring. Right, he does it twice, and he run away. There you go. Ooh. Ho 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 ho. You little bitch, man. <laughs> that is satisfying, though. I love to play in survival mode in this game. It's very good in the Turtles game as well, survival mode. It's actually, um, what I like about the turtles surviving mode, oh we got an A but you know that's good for trophies and shit. I wanted to get the A's but that wasn't happening. Uh, turtles survive mode is very fun but the difference with that one is it actually has an end because it has a final boss in it and oh boy he is tough. Um, I don't even know how to defeat him yet, I've just seen people like ta tank his hits and hope to kill him so far. Maybe there will be strategies on how to defeat him anyway, but so far he just looks like he has no weakness. Like because Super Shredder right? Usually what happens with him is like, 
these thoughts that sometimes make you want to face supers on them. But not this one, this one, um, this super shredder just like stays completely still. And then not only does he do his little spin attack to trick you into thinking you're able to hit him, right? He stays in the middle of the stage making you think you can hit him more, and then he summons, um, he summons like clones of the bosses on you, right? Like, oh no. <laughs> That's torture that when he does that fucking thing. Right, so we're going to continue with the defensive play right here, keep the calm going. Jumping up here. So I'm doing like a little guide to these things, but... I'm going to... No, 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 no. In here, there should be a pick on bro. Yep. We're not gonna pick her up because I don't want to use it. It's a bit better. It's just basically the same as it is. It's like a good dude. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you know, I'll take her because it was pretty funny. It was like Ben and I had when I grabbed him. It was like, oh shit, he just hit the barrel. Alright, big Ben. Here we go. Tell me a little bit. Yep. Oh shit. Yep. No. This is danger. This is an actual danger. Man. What? Ah, that Please have health. Oops. Oh. Just about uh, really good at checking it. Definitely need a good check with you. Definitely not have all the crap on me. Ten that I need a good check with you. Oh, there's a, this guy here is a very important to be able to get people to just start playing. He basically does a, a really fucking annoying check. He's like, oh, come here, come here. Yeah, it's a wall dodge. Like, I don't know why I'm playing Floyd still. I guess I decided to just fucking play Floyd for the rest of the time. You know, if I could make my own custom intro, I'd be like, let's beat him up time. Ah, oh, yeah, I've got these guys who like that shit as well. Ooh, that was close. You're joking, right? No. Alright. I actually had to time that perfectly to not get hit there. Holy oh, shit. The boss in this level is not too bad though. She's uh, kind of easy. You just get it to a With other characters, I don't know how you do it, boy, but with other characters, you can just literally get it to a wall and just like, combo her. She's not too difficult, it's just her minions that are pain in the ass. At least, this way has to be hard enough. Like, so I said, I don't usually play Floyd, but heavies. Ah, she's still easy. Ah, ah, ah. I can just grab her. I can just grab her teammates and just... Yeah, you do not want her with these guys. Where's my cheeky girls go so I can only get a cheeky girl on my hands? Where am I going? We also don't want her getting out of the fight. Yeah, we don't want her doing that scene. We don't want to give him teammates like him a cheeky little boss scene. That's the problem with her. She gets like teammates a big ass buff like that. Um, we got her, no? Lovely. Um, fantastic. Oh, we got another one. I swear, if I get an A rank in every single level right now in this, um, in this video, if I somehow get an A rank in almost every video, I'm gonna be pissed off because I'm actually trying to do that on my main account to get a trophy, right? I'm gonna switch character. Um, 
I want to see more, more of the series by the way, please tell me, I would definitely need more of the series, I'm going to make more of it either way, I don't care, I like making these videos, but the Beat'em Up Time series is definitely staying along with the other series, uh, so I'm trying to do um, every other Let's Play video, like, I made a Yakuza one recently, and I try finishing those videos in those series, um, the Yakuza one, I'm definitely going to continue with that, but the edit of those videos is an absolute pain in the ass, because uh, the last time I edited it, I couldn't even finish it, because, um, the music, right, it told me I was no longer allowed to put any more music clips in it, right, and I was like, what the fuck am I going to do that? At this level, we're going to play, uh, I'm going to play Sherry for some reason. Let's play Axel Action. It sounds good. Let's end this video by playing Axel, eh? The old pier is a fun level. Axel's, uh, I don't like this move of him, because when I play Axel, I play them, so I'm not going to unlock his other. See, but if you see him. He's like the bane of any beginner's existence. See that? That is the bane of any many people's existence. I'm fucking mad. Apparently the bane of my existence as well, because I fucking usually use the different moves up in my head. Alright, we're doing well so far. Let's get that health potion. Let's get this. Oh, okay. Alright man, these bitches are just... I hate this already, ooh, this is already getting difficult. Definitely probably just because I haven't played in a while, but ooh, fucking hell. It's not remember why I hate like it. Oh, I hope there's some health there. There is actually, lucky me. That was an answer. We're gonna group these in. Oh, fuck off. Cause what I start hating is when we get these fucking levels where like the and shit. Ooh. He's trying to go for a grab. Not like that happens, we're gonna get him to the wall there. Um, Axel's good in this game. I love using Axel in this game. Get the f down, bitches. I wasn't expecting there to be that effective, honestly. Storm with you. Oh, now we get to. Ah, oh, fuck off. Do these guys get a weapon? They become an absolute pain. Oh, these guys, the gunshots, when they get a knife, they can attack in every direction. Doesn't matter what part of the body you're hitting with the gunshot, they will hit you with that knife. And they won't hit you with that knife. Alright, I honestly kind of regret picking Axel for this. I probably should have just stuck with um, cats like Shiva or cats that I usually fucking play. I'm too used to the survival mode where you can do like the cool infinite combos and that. Ah, this bastard. I don't want to die either, that's why. No! Oh, that was bullshit at the range. Which is like gonna get angry now again. I'm gonna do that. Alright, please. No, public. Where's the taser? Uh, we need the taser. Taser, taser, taser. Ah, oh, lovely. There's the taser right there. Uh, now we can fight the secret boss, which is Zanza. He's a Street of Rage 2 boss. It's an absolute pain in the ass in the game, but he's fun to fight. Um, Zanza, here he is. Lovely little fella here. So far, it's just been a nightmare. We're gonna get into this wall here. Alright. And we're just gonna bam, get him like that. We're gonna take the extra storm out of the points, obviously. Uh, hmm. So, the zones are a little easy to contain. So, you like, counter you and um, run around. 
Alright. Anyway, continue the discuss. I like what they did with Axel and all the other characters in this game. They changed their designs completely and made them look all unique. But I'm still severely pissed off with being put skate in the game because he's a major character. And if they put Max in, they could have put Skate in. But they... People had to mod the game so that he was in the game. Which just shows how much people wanted him to be. He is technically in the game. You can unlock his Streets of Age 1 and 2 if you want I mean, 2 and 3 because he's not in 1. I'm going to say it's some stupid thing, so I think it's like 2 in the morning, so... But he should have been, um... Should have been added to this game. Um, I have no strategy for this ball, so I'll just dash attack. <laughs> See one strategy I've got for her. Just won't get hit. She just likes to move around a lot and be a pain in the ass. And don't get greedy with specials either, because she looks. Just... See how she just counters like. She's gonna try and hit me now, isn't she? Yep. Ah, uh, so she did, As soon as you get on a little mini combo, right, she just starts counting the rest. Of it. This is why you don't get greedy with your hits on her. Watch it. Right, there's gonna be some health over here for me. Lovely. Take a little chin. She's going for the. We get a couple of free hits on it. Another little stone lamb. I like it when she does that because it gives us a free hit. I do have a little bit of a strategy on her now. She lights up and she tries getting far away from me so she can do her boot thing or she, so she can hit you, which makes sense because when you play a style you'll understand why you do that. Man. Tell me a bitch. I don't know why I didn't make the first video. Anyone on this in this video? I don't know why the fuck I'm talking so this. I'm doing like a stream and recording these types of videos now, but yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Please. No! Oh, oh, that's the first day. I don't want to die, but okay. You better die in a bit. Ah, oh, I hate that when she starts summoning all those rockets. Lovely. But other than Axel's design, they made him like way more beefier in this game. And I like it actually, because when I read the lore, I was like, why the fuck is he like all beefy now and like slightly more fat than usual? And then I read it, I was like, oh, because he's been living in the woods. But um, this game is fun. And uh, I hope um, anyone that watches this is going to watch the rest of the videos in the series, because we'll definitely be playing more beat em up playing videos. and. Emote Time in general is just going to be a series that I'm going to stick to because I love this one and it's really fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. And um, I'll also be doing my other video of the fact that videos are interesting in that while I mention that. Which is going to be, um, I think I'm going to call it the Goofy Game Show, right? And it's basically just going to be me and my friends playing Goofy goofy games like Castle Crashers and other random games like that. Like Turtles Game, for example. And it's going to be a fun time. It's just going to be us like dicking around. But apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next video, alright?